Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Ricky here from Ricky's Macintosh, here with my review of the Lunatic watch band for the iPod Nano 6 generation. So many of you are going to wonder why I don't have an unboxing of an iPod Nano 6 generation, or why I didn't open up this case in front of you guys, or why I didn't even show you the installation process. Well, I actually did shoot those videos, but when I was transferring files from my old Mac to my new Mac, I lost everything um, as far as those videos that I shot and I couldn't recover them from my time capsule so I just went ahead and decided to just shoot the review. This is the most important part anyways. Um, you guys probably didn't really care to see me unbox everything. So we'll go ahead and get started with this review. As you can see the uh, enclosure here is aluminum and it's very good material. Uh, the band here is a nice thick rubber. It's not TPU but you know it is very thick and you know it doesn't pull at your arm hair if you have it. Uh, there is a little nub at the top here that will hold all the extra slack, the strap that's left over. As far as the ports go, on the left hand side here, there's a cutout for the sleep wake and there are your volume buttons. On the right hand side you do have the 30 pin dock connector and the headphone jack. As far as installation goes, there are two screws. There's one right here and then there's one right there. And they do give you the Allen wrench, so all you have to do is unscrew those screws, slide the iPod Nano in, and then just screw this piece back on. There is a division right in the middle here, so it actually just kind of slides off. Um, other than that, it's really easy to do. As far as putting it on, I'm gonna try and do this on camera, but you know, no promises of it going smoothly. And I am kind of a bigger guy, I'm 6'3", um, you know, I'm very tall, I'm not necessarily fat or anything. But uh, it is kind of a tight fit. If you're a you know, skinny, scrawny little guy like Quinn is, uh, no offense Quinn, but this will fit perfect on you. So there we go. It is on my wrist. Uh, as you can see, you know, it is a little big, but it's kind of cool. You know, I would wear this if I went to an event where you know, there's going to be a lot of people like me as far as geeks and whatnot. Um, easily accessible buttons, like I said. I have the iPod Nano set to wake with the clock, so I can just hit the button and the clock feature will pop up. There you go. In order to get past that, you just kind of hold it down. And now you're in the iPod Nano function. And of course, you can just kind of swipe through. You guys know what the iPod Nano looks like. Um, but yeah, this is you know a really comfortable watch. Uh, again, it doesn't pull at any arm here if you have it like I do. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend it, guys. It is $79, and it, right now it's taking four to six weeks to ship. Um, they haven't really gotten the production process down yet, so once that's done, it'll obviously ship a lot quicker. But for now, four to six weeks, so if you're willing to wait, it's a good product. I would appreciate it if you guys commented. If you would rate this video, give it a thumbs up, guys. Uh, if we can get a lot of thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. I want a lot of people to see this video because it's really cool. Um, and if you guys could subscribe to my channel, I'm going to be coming up with a lot of cool content. I will be picking up an iPad 2 very soon, as soon as they're available. I made the mistake of not ordering one on the launch day. Um, so I'm hunting around for one. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.